On lower budget productions or for ANG work, the sound recorders will often be both the sound mixer and the boom operator, so it can get complicated to try to mix and boom at the same time. That's where the boom hanger comes in. Welcome to More Film Academy product review series. Today we talk about the boom hanger. It's a strong plastic hook made to support a boom pole both to reduce the weight on your arms as well as free your hand to adjust the faders while booming. So is this product any good? Yes, it's extremely useful and versatile. It has a great build quality and feels very solid. It's helped me quite a lot on several shoots since I got it. That said, there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, to use it, the boom hanger needs to be attached to a harness, a lanyard, a shoulder strap, etc. I find that the best option is obviously a harness. However, I've tried it with several harnesses and they will not all be able to use it properly. On this Orca OR40 harness, for example, there's no ideal place to put it. This belt strap is a bit too low and too close to the sound bag, so the boom gets in the way. I tried using the included carabiner to attach it to the D-ring and it works, but the does not feel very stable and I needed to keep readjusting the hook. On the right side, if I remove the USB cable, it fits in there pretty well and is just the right height. But I don't know if the silicone will hold over time. There's another belt strap higher which holds it well but the boom pole does choke me a little bit because it's too high. On the other hand, it works perfectly with the KTEX Stingray harness which has several straps at different levels and on both sides. I would definitely recommend this harness with the boom hanger. I also tried this cheap tactical harness which is not made for this, but with the carabiner, it does work. Although, again, not very stable. With the shoulder strap, like this one by Low Pro, it can work, but it does not support the weight properly, so you do feel it after a while. With the lanyard, it's not comfortable and it hurts the neck. I do not recommend it. So overall, you need a harness with a strap at the right height for it to work properly. So keep that in mind before buying the boom hanger. I think that a way to fix this would be to include a velcro strap so it can be attached to a vertical harness strap, or maybe even make a rotating clip that will work both vertically and horizontally. I noticed a few other things. The first one is that it comes with a foam piece that sticks on the hook to prevent scratching, slipping and some boom noises. It works great and it's really nice that they included that, but I find it could have been designed better. For this price, I would expect the phone to actually be cropped properly to fit the hook. It's not a big deal, it does not affect the performance, just makes it feel a bit cheap and like it could come off more easily. The second thing is the little carabiner it comes with. It's nice that it's included, but I do find it too small and it fits awkwardly in the hook. I was able, however, to use it with another carabiner which works better. There's also other ways the boom hanger can be used. For example, you can use two of them, one on each side of the harness, for more stability. You could also use it to hang your headphones or XLR cable to a harness or directly to the sound bag. So this simple hook can become quite a versatile tool. Overall, I find that this product is a fantastic idea. It's so simple yet so useful and it works great when you have the right harness. I really recommend this product if you're a solo sound recordist. It will definitely make your job easier and is completely worth it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.